and that story was produced by Gatete Jeroge. To another story now, Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Machogu now says there's crisis in the education sector in Nairobi City County. Machogu says there's no equity in access to education in the county as more than 70% of schools in Nairobi are private and therefore out of reach for majority of the population. Machogu has called on the stakeholders in the national and county government of Nairobi to expand access to education for the county's learners by increasing the number of public schools. Brenda Wanga reports. Nairobi, home to over 5 million people, is grappling with the problem of providing quality education to its children. Indeed, the provision of basic education, a government's responsibility, appears to have been largely left to the private sector. The man in charge of education admits as much. Meaning that almost 70% of our schools, both in primary and secondary in Nairobi, are actually private. And only uh, about 30% of them are uh, uh, public. What does that mean to the people of Nairobi? This means that a majority of the counties financially challenged are not able to access the quality of education offered in private schools. The numbers are even grimmer when broken into the different levels of education. There must be radical measures taken in Nairobi. Each and every one of us must come on board. Because for sure, when Sumiwa, education is in Ethiopia, education in Nairobi is in a lot of problems. We have a lot of challenges which we have to mitigate, which we have to challenge. And it cannot be done in another time apart from during this time of Kenya Kwanza administration. The government, however, says this is an issue that is being addressed. Plans are underway to increase the number of classrooms in the county that currently has a deficit of nearly 1,000 classrooms. But even as plans to build more infrastructure crystallizes, there is the added challenge of getting the school's land secured. Land belonging to a good number of public schools in the county has reportedly been grabbed by private developers. We must protect all public land. And of course, ensure that the existing, particularly in my public schools, is not an ecological in any way. Kindly, can we identify the other additional public land where then we can embark in building schools? I am, pro I am processing title deeds for all our schools and to give you a copy and a deep plan. So that you know your school title is this. I think I already gave around 30 schools last year. We gave them copies of their titles. Fortunately, was here in Nairobi, we have the history of the schools. We still have the titles um, in our registry. So we're producing for them now fresh. We're doing it. Then I'll see Mkwena that did. Msikubali mtu waingie kwa shule yetu. Let us not agree for public land to be grabbed. Elsewhere, the CS for Education appeared before the Senate's Education Committee to answer to questions from senators on matters education. He was taken to task over the new funding for university education in the country. He says the new funding has improved access for the less fortunate students in society. You will be able to get 80% scholarship from government and 20% uh, uh, higher on education board and there is some also the contribution. And there are others we say uh, 40 percent household contribution and the probably minimal uh, amount of uh, uh, scholarship and also 